Hi everyone, welcome to a new weekly vlog. You've noticed my hair is a proper fright because I've just been having my Udi on, I've taken it on and off, and just look. Uh, it's the evening, Matt is cooking one of our Hello Fresh dinners. Which one is it? I hope you're hungry. What have you done? How, how much pasta have you put in? Just the pack. The whole pack? No, the pack they give us. Oh, that's made a lot. Hmm. I think that could probably do two dinners, at least, or a lunch tomorrow, if we put it in some Tupperware. I mean, it looks gorgeous and it smells really, really it's nice. It's not even finished yet, we've got tomatoes in the oven. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But it is a pesto pasta. It is a pesto pasta. It's also a massive pesto pasta. Try and say that fast, three times. Whilst we decide what we're doing, if we're having all of it tonight, I don't think I can eat half of that. Uh, <laughs> so, as gorgeous as it looks, I don't think my stomach capacity is quite that large. Um, anyway, thank you for everyone who tuned in to last week's weekly vlog. Um, yeah, it was what it was and hopefully people enjoyed it and hopefully people are going to enjoy this one. I'm not quite sure what we've got planned this week. There isn't anything in particular. So this is a case of letting things happen as they happen. Just going in. And today I have had a very productive day. I have edited two vlogs for the Virgin Voyages uh, and obviously I uploaded uh, and premiered the weekly vlog so I've had quite a productive day today. I've still got a little bit of tinkering to do um, with all the, what's it called, all the all the comments and the description box and stuff like that so I've still got to do some of those things. I think that's verging on almost enough for me. Good morning and welcome to I think it's Wednesday and just look at the rain we've got on the floor today. On the ground, I should say. That is horrible, look at that. I wanted to go outside and have my morning coffee, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to now. So, yeah, that's just a wider angle of the garden. The cats aren't very happy. Bo's been meowing because he wants to go out and Rory's taking everything in his stride. Just had a new delivery of Bo's food. So this is the Untamed. We did try it uh, last week uh, and we've now got 56 tins. Yeah. Wow. He so really likes it. Yeah, he does. He really, really, really likes this. So uh, there you go. If I can link it, I will link it. Well, it looks like Rory is enjoying a little bit of Cat's TV. Look at all the pigeons in the garden. They've been, uh, there's three of them, so he's been sat here watching them. Um, so, <laughs> this is what cats like to do. They like to sit out there. I'm not going to let him out um, because it's wet and he will frighten away the pigeons. who are very happily pecking. It is still Wednesday and Matt's cooking from the HelloFresh. So today we are having uh, sausage and mash with veg and some gravy. And a red onion jus. Ooh, a red onion jus. It sounds gorgeous. And someone's come to have a look, haven't you? Hello, gorgeous. Uh, so just waiting on the sausages to come out of the oven and then uh, we can have our dinner. Here is the dinner without the jus. And here it is with the jus. Grace, graceful, Grace. elegant, Michelin starred. Hi everyone, it is Thursday and I've had a fairly productive day today but I haven't made any videos. I've been sorting out all of those random sort of admin things that just get left and pushed aside and they've been weighing on my mind for a while now and I finally managed to get them done so I'm feeling accomplished, even though I haven't technically done what I would call work, but I feel accomplished, so that's really, really good. Um, yeah, it's it's just great to be settled with some outstanding things. You know how things play on your mind, so I'm just really, really happy today. So patron chat tonight, so I need to set all of that up, um, and that's kind of it. It's been a bit of a grey day outside, as you can see. It's bright but it's not really sunny there's there's cloud in the sky and we've got the heating on because it's cold out there uh it's just a typical kind of february day and i can't believe it's almost march um i normally don't like january and february but i can tell you now going on holiday if you can in january really gets takes away removes that those january blues 
the SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder, going away in January, really, really, really combats that. So I've not really minded the cold, miserable January and February February weather uh, since I've been back. So that's been fantastic. Right, I've got some washing on, some laundry's being done. Um, Matt's playing video games. And I, like I said, I need to set up the patrons chat. And then I'm going to have a, the rest, rest of the day is going to be lazy. As you can see from the bedroom window, the sky, well, that's basically the sky. So you can see a little bit of sun. It's a little bit bright over there, uh, but it's still quite dull. And as I said, it's very, very cold. Right, just heading to Morrison's. Uh, we need to get some stuff because we're a little bit low. Um, and then it's back home to do a few things and sort some things out. Let's grab a couple of bleaches. This is what we've got kind of in the trolley. <laughs> right, we are back from the shops. We did get, I'll show you in a moment. Matt's just putting it all out on the island so that we can do a little bit of a food haul. Um, so this week has actually been really, really quiet for us. Um, Matt's been working, I've been working. And that's kind of it. Matt finished yesterday. I think I'm sure I've told you already, but he completed his month at the gym. So uh, he's now a gym bunny and he's feeling a little bit like he should be going to the gym today, but he needs a rest. How do you feel about completing your challenge? I feel very good until I went to the shop this morning and rolled my ankle. Oh yeah. My uncle went cleek. I sent you a clip you could put in there. <laughs> your ankle did go cleek, uh, yeah. as said by a drag queen. Uh, yeah, so, my uncle went clean. But so. it's okay, you can still walk on it, it's yeah. fine. And you've got to play squash to tonight. <gasps> anyway, let's do the food haul. So, we've got some veg, uh, we've got cow cauliflower florets and some wonky peas. Now, can someone tell me how a pea can be wonky? They're peas. Uh, my favourite country life butter, some milk. We've got uh, so these to go with one of the Hello Freshes. It's just a Chinese-style snack selection. Tonight, because I am cooking, because Ooh. Matt's going to uh, play squash, we bought, so there's two, salmon en cru, so I will show you those later. Having them with baked potato. And parsley sauce. Yeah, we'll do some parsley sauce. Bleach. Bleaches, self excited These yogurts are lovely, so there's different flavours. They're from Morrison's, St. Clement's Oranges and Lemons. There's peach and mango, damson and plum, and blueberry and pomegranate, and then Matt's um, protein yogurts. Some Andrex toilet wipes, just because. Uh, I wanted a really good bathroom cleaner, so I got some Flash, Victoria Sponge, Matt, uh, Philadelphia, Matt found... No, Maureen. Maureen found some gooey brownie bites. <laughs> Maureen, terrible. <laughs> it's normally cake bars. <laughs> no, no, she changed. Uh, I got some crisps, because I still can't find the pickled onions that I want. And that's kind of it for today's haul. Let's get putting it away. Don't be fooled by the sunshine. It is deceptive because it is freezing out here. So I thought I'd do a really quick tour of the garden um, just to show you what's going on and what needs to be done. So the table is filthy. This table, I always wipe it um, and clean it with some glass cleaner. Always comes up really, really lovely. Uh, someone did ask where I actually got this uh, table from. It's actually from Morrison's. Uh, and we had a really good deal. I think we had it for about £130. Um, a cheap table, but it's been really, really good and it's weathered fantastic outside. There's nothing wrong with the seats whatsoever. Um, it just gets dusty and we are in quite a dusty area because of how open it is with the golf course at the back and the pool at the front. Um, so there's not much going on here. We have a few things that I think will be coming back. There's some roses. The Christmas tree in the pot is still growing and doing well. The rose walk, by the way, sorry, apologies for any wind noise. Uh, the rose walk, well, they are budding, look. There are little buds on the roses coming. So they're doing well. We have some daffodils as well. So I did put some daffodil bulbs in there last year. So I'm hoping they all come through. Um, so that's those. I still need to prune the buddleia, give it a hard prune. The grass still needs to be cut over here. Still need to find some suitable plants uh, to fill in these gaps here. Because if you remember, I pulled some up last year that didn't do very well. Still got that mess in the corner to clean. Need to give the bench another stain with the gray paint. Um, it, it never got its second coat in the end. 
<laughs> eventually I'll need to start mowing the grass again. So in the greenhouse, if we go in, um, I put some boxes for the cats to sit in. I change them as soon as we get some new ones. Um, so yes, I need to do, if I zoom out, I need to do a bit of work in here. All needs, everything needs getting out, cleaning, washing. I want to turn these, some of these tops over the other way so that I can put a flat tray on, which is really easy for watering seeds. So that's what I want to do in here. Um, and then obviously I can do the grow bags again. Uh, but I would quite like to get some terracotta pots to put the tomatoes and cucumbers in. Um, so yes, that's what I need to do in here. And also give the glass a clean as well. I need to put some... Uh, if you remember, ages ago, I bought some wire that would go across the fence to train the rose over. So the rose is actually grown. If you look over here, it goes all the way down here and it's just trailing on the, on the lawn. So I need to get that up. Um, the pots with the bulbs in are doing really, really well. I mean, look at these. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? We've got the tete -a little miniature daffodils. We've got the crocuses coming through. Ah, it's gorgeous. Uh, and over here, the giant tulips are going to be absolutely fantastic. They've kind of dwarfed out the daffodils in that one. Um, but yes, it's looking really, really good. We've got the pots over here. And I'm going to go now and feed the birds. So this is where I keep my bird seed in this bin over here. So I need to get some more seed, but I have got some nuts. So I keep my nuts in there. And I've also got some fat balls. So there are some more fat balls in the shed. And there are some mealworms as well. So I'm going to go and feed the birds. So I've just got my big box of the suet balls. What I normally do is to count some in there that I use and then uh, I just store them in here. So the bed at the front of our house is looking quite good. I've pruned back the fuchsia. We've got some bulbs in there. I've got some wallflowers. I trimmed and pruned the rose and the planter by the door is also looking rather pretty. The front lawn meadow is coming back. When I say meadow, bluebell meadow so these are all bluebells pretty much there's a an odd daffodil that sprung up but this will all be beautiful beautiful daffodils and i do let this go a little bit wild so it's got to be very very oh look something's been digging in the garden it may be a squirrel who's buried his nuts so i should have tiptoe very carefully through the, the bluebells because if you harm the foliage it really really harms them so i'm going to sprinkle some nuts on the bird bench over here. Um, there's some beautiful things that I planted under the hedge as well, uh, primroses and such like. So I need to get some of these feeders down. Now some of these feeders, they fuse, especially that metal one. Uh, I can't seem to get the lids off, so I might have to buy some new feeders or maybe get a pair of pliers or something. So let's feed the birds. Right, so here is all of the food that I've prepared. There's mealworms, some peanuts, and a little bit of leftover um, fat ball. So I've put the fat balls in, and I'm going to hang them up on a little hanger there. There we go. Uh, and now let's sort out here. So what I did last time, and they really, really liked it, especially the squirrel, I sprinkled some nuts on the table. I put some in the little house as well. So just do that all the way round, make sure it all goes in. Uh, a few more on here, make a little bit of a pile. Um, and then what I'm going to do is take the uh, the suet and the mealworm and sort of tip those into some piles as well. So if I sort of space them out a little bit and then maybe put the suet in one clump there. Um, so there we go, that's basically what I've done. Uh, so hopefully we'll have some feeders. Right, hello my lovies. I have been left unattended to my own devices and I am cooking again. 
So last week's baked potatoes turned out fantastic. I'm going to do the same thing. I will poke them with the knife. Um, people did say that it is to let the steam out. So there we go. So I'm going to put those in for an hour and 15 minutes, which actually worked out really good because you're supposed to put them on 220. The air fryer, I cooked them all in the air fryer. The air fryer only goes up to 200. But if you just leave them in a little bit longer, it works just fine. Uh, so, we are having these salmon on cruise. They take, I think, only about 26 minutes. But I thought I would show you, they are individual ones and they come uh, like that. So that's what we're gonna be having. Um, so I'm gonna put the potatoes on now. And then I'll come back and do the veg and the salmon on crew. What Matt told me to do that he does is he puts the oil and the, um, the salt and the pepper in this first and then mixes it all on. Because last time I was pouring it all on and I got into a little bit of a pickle, my love, didn't I? So I'm going to put the oil like that. I hope I've put enough. I'll put a little bit of the salt in there like that and then we'll put some black pepper, oops, I put a lot of black pepper uh, in there and then we'll mix it all together like so and make a little oily paste and then that will go on the skin of the potatoes. So let's just, let's try that now and see what happens. Oh actually, you know what, that works really, really well. Uh, so that's going on. Um, so let's do one potato first. I think this will work really, really well. There we go, it's a good tip from Matt there. Let's get all this on, do both sides. I've probably got enough to come and do. Put a bit more on, so let's get those on. Like so. There we go. Voila, perfect. I will set an alarm to remind me to put these in. I'm just gonna take them out now. Oh, please don't stick. Don't you stick. I'm gonna try and tip them. Oh, there we go, there's one out. Right, now I'll turn them over the right way. So they are flat bottomed. Uh, nothing wrong with a flat bottom. Well, I, I like a curved bottom, to be quite honest. Um, so there we go. I don't think we're supposed to brush these with anything. I will read the instructions, but I know you can put um, put some milk on. Do you know what? I'm going to brush them with a little bit of milk, maybe. Yes, I will. So these are 220, uh, fan 200, gas mark 7, uh, for 24 to 26 minutes. Right. I'm going to paste them before they go in with a little bit of milk. Time to grate the cheese. And I fortunately know a little magic It's a talent that I always have possessed And here lately, please don't laugh I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely and depressed Pathetic Poor unfortunate souls Now it's happened once or twice Someone couldn't pay the price and I'm afraid I had to rake them across the coals. If I've had the odd complaint, from the whole I've been a saint to those poor unfortunate souls. <laughs> You'll have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the importance of the body language. Ha! And here is all of the vegetables. My sous chef is back from the gym. Or from squash. He's, well, yeah, from the squash. So here are the beautiful salmon en cru. There's a baked potato with the veg. I went a bit overboard with the veg. But anyway, we so need it. Easy to do, but at hard. least it's not cake. No, true. And there we have my culinary delight masterpiece. What will be next week? Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Saturday. Um, I thought I'd do a bit of vlogging this morning because Elliot's still asleep and I've just got up. It's about half past seven. Uh, but yeah, I've just woken up and it is snowing, which I was not expecting this morning. 
Uh, it's not going to stick because it's just far too wet, but little one here is desperate to go out, aren't you? Mm. You want to go out, but you can't. No, it's just wet and snowy. But yeah, how weird. Okay, it's coming down in like proper big clumps now. I think it's still a bit too warm for it to stick properly. We might get something really slushy, but look at the size of those flakes. That's mad. Wow. Oh, look at it come down now. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. And you can see it's not, it's kind of sticking, but also it's mostly slush, which is a real shame. If it was just a little bit colder and a little bit drier, we'd have a few inches by now. We all have a few inches, my loves. Okay, so the snow has finally stopped. You can see it's a little bit slushy. But you can see on top of the table how much it's stuck there. And all across like the wood sleepers and on the trees and on the grass. That was a nice little surprise this morning. Everybody, it is Saturday, if I'm not mistaken, because normally I get my days mixed up. The HelloFresh has just arrived, so Matt's unboxing. Uh, and we shall turn the camera around and show you what we've got for this week. So this is how the HelloFresh comes, all in bags. And then there's all the ice packs as well. So what do we have we this have... week? Sausages in a mushroom okay, sauce. Okay, so these are ones we've chose, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah, so that Look, looks nice. Garlic mash and roasted carrots. Yes, I'm, I'm approving of that one. Cheese and spinach penne Ooh, bake yes. with a bacon crumb. Yum. Uh, crispy chicken in roasted garlic butter sauce. Yum. Ooh, all these are good so far. With mash as well, so we've got two lots Ooh. of mash. Yeah, another burger. Italy's cheesy parmigiana sausage burgers. Okay. With tomato sauce and chips. Sausage burger, fine. And then a Tuscan-inspired pulled chicken stew with chia butter and cheese. Yum! They all sound really good. They do sound I'm really impressed. Nice. Ah. We have a visitor on our bird table, and we're going to show Bo what it is. It's a squirrel. Oh, it's a squirrel. So we're just walking across the Sainsbury's car park. We haven't been to Sainsbury's for a long while, but. Got the shopping bag. Um, I've just collected my suit. Uh, half but of it. Half of my suit. My top half is covered. My um, my bottom half is still to be covered because um, apparently my order came in and they sent back the trousers. Yeah. So I need to wait until tomorrow now. We are back home and we have lunch. So I've not had one of these for ages. So I got from Sainsbury's a chicken fillet in a bath. I've put mayonnaise on it and I have some brown sauce on the side. Not the same as barbecue sauce. It's really tangy. I don't know quite know how to, how to describe brown sauce, but it's brown sauce. Right, so here is the waistcoat and blazer, minus the trousers, because they are coming tomorrow. Um, so I'm just going to try it on with a pair of lounge bottoms, uh, just to see if I have got the right sizes. <laughs> Okay, so one slight little problem. The sleeves are about an inch too long. It looks like it's longer than an inch, but I've just measured um, and they are an inch too long. So it's going to have to get altered. Matt's cooking tonight's Hello Fresh, and it's got pak choy in it. It does. You're so excited for oh, this one, aren't you? Well, it's, it's not been one I've been looking forward to, but now that it's being cooked, it does smell nice. And we have pimped it a little bit with um, a nice selection of spring rolls and prawn toast and things. There we go. Look at that beautiful pak choy. Uh, so we're gonna go and eat that now and watch some TV. Hi everyone, it is a sunny Sunday morning. My goodness, Matt's parents are coming today a little bit later for Sunday lunch. Matt is cooking, but the day is beautiful. It's not even terribly cold. I've got my Udi on, <laughs> but it's not terribly bad. Uh, it's actually quite a nice day to get outside and do some gardening, but I'm gonna have to put that off, um, I think, until either in the week or possibly next weekend. So, uh, I'm going to finish my drink of coffee. I am then going to get the vacuum out and do some vacuuming. Uh, Matt's going to mop the floor, uh, a little bit of dusting, and then we're done and we're ready to receive. So, uh, but, oh, can you see Bo? He is just, he likes to sit in those grasses, which again, need chopping. 
but there, <laughs> there he is hiding, waiting to pounce like a coiled spring. Oh no, it's time to say goodbye to the daffodils. Look, they're looking a little bit forlorn. Ugh. So do you remember these that I was given by Matt's mother in the previous vlog? They are some grow pots and one is a tiger and one is a, is a crocodile. So she said that she couldn't resist them when she saw them when she was shopping and it made her think about Rory and Bo. So she couldn't find one to necessarily fit Bo, uh, although I think the one that she's chosen pretty much does. This is a tiger. It's a grow pot, it's grass, so it's supposed to look uh, a little bit like that when it's all grown. Um, but the one that she chose for Bo is a crocodile, and I think that is rather apt, because Bo is indeed a little crocodile. So, um, what you have to do, I, I have already had a little look at what's inside. So you can see that there are, um, there's some, a growing medium it's called, and there are some seeds. Now you've got until the year 2027 to, to grow them. So you've got a, a long time. So I think what you do is you pour 120 millilitres of water in, give it a mix, uh, and then you put the grass seed on the top. So I'm going to do that now. Right, so here we go. Let's add the water. Didn't say it had to be warm, so I'm um, doing it cold. Now I've gone a little bit under so that um, in case, because I'd rather have it uh, where I need to add a little bit more than not than having it too wet and moist. So there you go. You can see they are breaking up. They're little kind of briquettes of, of compost. That's kind of what they are. So I thought I'd use a fork. There we go. I think this might take a little bit of time. So I'm going to get some water and I'll get um, Rory the tiger. Oh, actually no, these are breaking down quite good. Um, I'll get some more water and do Rory the tiger as well. Let Rory the tiger um, <laughs> mix a little bit. So as you can see, it's kind of gone to this kind of gloopy consistency. Uh, I'm glad I didn't put too much of the water in. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a really good mix and then I think that'll be ready to start scattering the seeds. There we go, both pots are ready and I think it's time to add the seed. The Rory the Tiger is a little bit more goopy, so I might just give that a quick, quick more, little bit of a more stir. Um, but there we go, I think it's time to add the seed. Let's get seeding Bo, the little crocodile. <laughs> all done i don't think i have to cover them up i'm just going to leave them on the surface put them somewhere warm and see what happens matt is cooking sunday dinner again Woohoo! so matt's making his famous whopping yorkshire puddings uh there's veggies on the hob ready to go it's all the prep stuff yeah where's the cheese sauce Oh, the cheese sauce. Oh, I thought you were doing the Yorkshire. That's already done. Oh. Well, okay. So that's the Yorkshire pudding mix. And then we've got some roasted vegetables prepared, ready to go in. Spuds. There's the spuds. There's the cauliflower. And the start of the sauce. Oh, and the cheese for the cauliflower sauce, which is cheddar and red Leicester. We have a little forest climber. Is it a little, is it some play equipment? What are you doing in the spiral bush? Hey, are you going to sleep there? I think he's going to sit there and go to sleep, aren't you? Just wondering how far it can go up. <laughs> so dinner is progressing. We have parsnips, carrots, roast potatoes, cauliflower cheese with the red Leicester, Yorkshire and puddings. Yorkshire puddings are in there. Matt made some stuffing balls, and we've got some broccoli, sprouts, and peas. Look at the feast that Matt has cooked. So here is mine. It is Monday. Matt has gone to the gym, and when he gets back, we will be waiting to have our hair cut. Yay. Uh, it kind of needs doing. We had it done a couple of weeks before holiday, so it definitely needs a bit of a touch-up. So I've just had a shower and just kind of combed it and left it like this. 
So I thought I would do a little bit of a houseplant tour. So this is the really big palm tree in the living room. Um, I'm not entirely sure exactly what it's, it's called, but it's it's growing. And I, I do prune it back and we have a new leaf coming or a new shoot coming there. Um, so I do feed it every couple of weeks. I water it and it's doing really, really well. Loves it here. Here is another one that we bought when we moved in. Um, this one I keep like kind of like next to the window. Um, so it does get some light and it seems to really like it here. It has grown a lot. I really want to get some more house plants. In the utility window, we have this beauty and I need to repot because this little pot is definitely not big enough. Uh, but it does seem to like it there in the utility window. This is, it's the window at the bottom of the stairs and it's an aloe vera plant and it really is huge. A neighbour gave it to us and yeah, it's just grown like a, like a triffid. In the office window, we have this monstera. It really does need a repot. Um, but it has done really well here. We also have a little spider plant that Matt's dad grew for us. And in the spare bedroom, we have an orchid. This was one that was in the kitchen, but I moved it up here when it became dormant over winter. And we do have a new uh, orchid, what's it called, spike coming. So uh, yeah, it's coming back for the second time. So the reason why I showed you all the houseplants is because I want to, oh there's Rory, because I want to add to the houseplant collection. I feel like I'm ready for some more sort of indoor gardening as well. Not that I haven't got enough with the outside gardening, but I do think that, um, oh look at him, he's so cute. Uh, we'll go and have a look in a moment. Uh, but I do really want to kind of have a little bit of an indoor jungle. We'll see how that one goes over the next year. Oh, you are so precious, aren't you? You do like it on the bed. Oh, he's just so, he's just, just such a gorgeous big boy. Everyone loves Rory, don't they? You're most people's favourite. Also, I want to say a really, 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 really big thank you to anyone who has used my Skin and Me discount code, which is in the description box. Thank you very, very much to Craig, who has used it this week. So, Craig, let me know, how are you getting on with your skin and me? I love it. Um, I love the simple three-step approach. I haven't got masses of different cleansers and creams. Everything is tailored to my specific needs and it will be tailored to your specific needs too if you fill out the Skin and Me questionnaire. So anyway, thank you so, so much for using my Skin and Me code. Let me know how you've got on. Okay, Matt is here. Hi. <laughs> they worked too hard at the gym. They did. Ah. They can't feel my legs. And your but also, you can see in the mirror what position I have to take to do get to this height. Look at my legs. Look how far apart they are. <laughs> Look at the squat I'm doing this it's, after it's leg day. It's more of a straddle. <laughs> I did five minutes of wall sits today. That's a lot. It is. Now I'm having to do this. <laughs> oh. Anyway, thank you for watching this week. <laughs> Look at the compassion. <laughs> Wow, the level of good anyway. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for watching this week's vlog. Um, come back next week <laughs> for do more all, abuse. <laughs> do all the things that I normally say. Like, subscribe, share, and we will see you next week. So from us, to you all, and goodbye. Bye.